Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Look at this question before us here. The question is bracket open a plus b all to the power of 2, then minus 2 into a plus b equal to a t. Then we are giving another condition here that a times b is equal to 16. Then what is the value of 3a minus 9b? What will be the value of that? So this question suggests that we solve for the value of a and b. Then we put them into this system to get our uh, required question uh, uh, here, which is 3a minus 9b. How do we go about this? Let's go into today's challenge. So yeah, first thing, our solution as usual. So here, yeah, if you take a critical look at the main equation, which is the expression we have on the board, you discover that the quantity we have here and what we have here are the same. So this is a quadratic equation. To make it more obvious or more plain, we can say here, uh, put, we can say put, um, our uh, a plus b to be what? Our y. So if we do that, we are going to rewrite the main equation. It is going to give us here our y squared then minus 2y equal to 80. Now see, this is the quadratic equation I just said before now. So we have to solve this quadratically. Okay? So we bring this to this side of the equation because we want to use the factorization method. So we have here y to the power of 2 minus 2y minus 80 then equal to 0. Easy. Okay. All we just have to do here is we bring out the factors of 80 and among the factors of 80, pick two of them that when we multiply together, we give us our minus 80 the addition, we give us minus 2. And that will give us um, 8 and 10. So if we have 8 and 10 from here, what will be the sign? It will give us a plus 8 and minus 10. So from here, we can rewrite the middle term as our y to the power of 2, then minus 10y, then plus 8y, everything here minus our 80 equal to 0. Because minus 10y plus 8y will give us minus 2y. Okay? Then minus 10 times 8 will give us minus 80. So we are in order. So we bracket this. We call it bracket this. So from here, oh, let's move back here. So from here, we can factor out y from here. So to factor out y, we are left with here y minus 10. So it's bracket. Then here, what is common is just 8. Then plus our 8 into we are left with y. Then minus here 10 equal to 0. So what we have inside the two brackets are the same. So we can take one of them and pick this. Yeah. So this now implies our y minus 10 with bracket, bracket our y plus 8 equal to 0. At this point, we equate this to 0, we equate this to 0. So we now have our y minus 10 equal to 0 or our y plus 8 equal to 0. So let's continue on this side. Okay, so what we do here now, we take the first one here, we're going to have our y1 and now be equal to positive 10 because it's going to cross to this side. There we have our y2, um, y2 is equal to negative 8. Okay, now we have two cases from here now. Remember, we don't have y in our main question. So we recall where we said put a plus b equal to y. So we're going to take the first case here. So we have case one. Case one, we have our a plus our b is equal to our case one. We have y is equal to 10. So let's put it here that this one we have y is equal to 10. So from here, we're going to have our 10. Yeah. Okay. So we can give this our. Y1. Now, 
if you look at this, we are having a plus b is equal to 10 now. We have to go back to our original equation where we are giving a second condition that a times b is equal to 16. So let's bring that in here. So say but our a times b is equal to 16. So let's take this as our equation 2. From equation 2, we can make b the subject of the formula. So making b the subject of the formula here, we're going to have here b is equal to 16 all over a. So let's give this our equation star, star, and give this as our equation star. Okay, all right. Or let's make this equation star 3 there. Why this as equation star and star? So we want to put equation star, star, star into equation star. So wherever we see b, let's put in this expression. So this is going to give us, so this now implies our a uh, plus, here we're going to have 16 all over a equal to our 10 here. As we have made this a here, we multiply it through by a. So this will now give us our a to the power of 2 uh, plus our 16 uh, equal to 10 a. Move this to this side of the equation. We now have a to the power of 2 and minus 10a plus 16 equal to 0. Again, this is a quadratic equation. So how do we solve this quadratically? We can use the factorization method here. Okay? So we think of two numbers from the factors of 16 that we will multiply together will give us plus 16. Then the addition will give us minus 10. So what are the two numbers? That will give us um, 8 and uh, 2, right? 8 and 2. So this is going to give us 8, 8 to the power of 2. Then which of them is going to take minus and which of them will take um, as a positive? Both of them will take minus. So we have a minus 2a, then minus 8a uh, plus our 16 equal to 0. So we can put this in bracket, put this in bracket. The factor R1 is common to each of these brackets. All right, so we bring out A here, so we're going to have here A. Here we're going to have A minus 2, so bracket minus what is common here is 8. Then 8 into this, we are left with A. Then minus times plus will give us minus. Then 8 into this will give us 2. Where everything equal to 0. Okay, so we discover these, these are the same. So we're going to end up having our a here, let's put this in bracket, minus 2, here, here we have a, a minus 8, everything equal to 0. Again, let's continue on this side here. We're going to equate this to 0, equate this to 0. So this now implies that our a minus 2 equal to 0, or we have our 8, okay, so sorry, a minus 8 equal to 0. So this will give us our a is equal to positive and our b is equal to positive 8. Okay, so we've gotten our a, sorry, yes, a please. So we have our a to our a1 here. Yeah. So we have our a1 is equal to this, the a2 is equal to this. So we want to get the value of b from here. Look at what we have from our equation star, 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 star. So we cannot put here. We have here from equation this, we have b is equal to 16 all over. Let's take the first one, which is 2. And this will give us what? 8. And again, we can equally get our b2, which is our b1. The b2 will give us 16 all over 8. And this will give us 2. So here yeah, we have our b1 equals to 8, then our b2, b2 is equal to our 2. All right. So we've gotten some values from uh, our special here now. Okay, so we now consider case 2 now for our y, okay? So when our y is equal to minus 8, what do we do? So we're going to consider that case scenario now. So we have here yeah, our case 2. Our case 2, we're going to have our a, we have y is equal to minus 8. So we're going to have here a plus b is equal to minus 8. Again, 
from our question we have a times b is equals to 16. from where we make b the subject of the formula look at what we have here so we can put that into this system so this is going to give us here our a here plus our 16 all over our a equal to minus 8. what we have here the difference is just that here would be minus 8. that's all okay so if we eliminate this we're going to end up having our a squared here yeah, plus our 16 equal to minus 8 a and rearranging we have a squared plus our 8 a plus 16 equal to 0. so let's solve this quadratically again so in solving this quadratically what happened from the factors of 16 we look for uh, two numbers that were we'll multiply together will give us plus 16 add together will give us 8 here so what are the two numbers that will give us um 4 and 4 so it's going to be positive positive we have 8 to the power of 2 plus 4 a plus 4 a uh, plus 16 equal to 0 sorry we want to preserve this case here all right so yeah a is common to this side right so yeah, we're going to have this to be our a. Sorry, right. we want to preserve this space here. So we have here a here yeah, plus our four close bracket. Yeah, plus what is comma here is four. So our four into what is comma here a to this will give us x there plus our four also equal to zero. So we have the terms inside here are the same. So we take this and um, one of these here. All right, so let's continue on this side of the board. All right, so from our last expression there, we're going to factor a from the first side. So we're going to have here a into a squared will give us a there plus a into 4a will give us 4 there close bracket plus what is common to the second bracket there is 4. So we're going to have 4 bracket 4 into 4a, we are left with our a there plus 4 into 16, we are left with 4 everything equal to zero so what is here what is here they are common and we take this one out here so we're going to have our a plus our four close bracket bracket a plus our four close bracket equal to zero okay so what we have in the two bracket they are the same so automatically we're going to have our a plus four is equal to zero so we have a is equal to minus four so now that we have our a equal to minus um, a 4, how do we get our b? Let's put it into this expression. So from here, we're going to have our, uh, we can say put our a equal to minus 4 into the expression a plus uh, b equal to minus 8. So here we're going to have this to be minus 4 plus our b equal to minus 8. So b is equal to minus 8. Send this to this side, this is plus r4. Let's continue here. Okay, so our b, b will now be equal to minus 4 plus 4 will give us minus 4. So b is equal to <laughs> uh, minus 4 also. So here, we cannot say therefore our a is equal to minus 4, um, which is equal to our b also from our first case or case one we'll solve our uh, a to be two or eight then b to be eight or two so we want to take um, uh, uh, a and b from here here we're going to take our a to be eight and b to be um, two so we're going to have our result here we can put that into our, our result here so let's take this as our case uh, one of star Let's take this as our case one of star. So here we have our equation. We have a 3a minus 9b. We want to substitute the value of a to be 8. Yeah. So we have here 3 into 8, then minus our 9 into, and we said b will be what? 2. So we put down 2 here. So this will now give us here 3 times 8 will give us 24, then yeah, minus. 9 times 2 will give us 18. Okay? So if we subtract this from this, we give us 6. So
So therefore, our 3a minus 9b will give us positive 6. All right. So for our case, for our case, um, a 2 star, here, what is our b? a and b, we have minus 4, minus 4. So it will give us our 3a minus 9b will now be equal to 3 into minus 4, then minus 9 into minus 4. So if we carry out the, this will give us minus 12, the plus 9 times 4 will give us 36, right? So if we subtract this from this, if we subtract this, this will give us plus 24. So we have plus uh, 24. So these are the two answers for this expression where we solve this. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this class. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment in the comment section. Bye until we meet you again in our next video. Keep winning.